Hey, the menu is so bright, we ought to wear shades out here. Kidding, buddy. Chef Tom Williams from Kroger's Bramilton Avenue store, 4404 Bramilton Avenue, the one with uh, two red boxes, right next to CVS, right across the street from the fuel center, and also uh, Bojangles at the foothills. And a car wash. And a car wash at yeah. the foothills of uh, Bent Mountain. So, how are you today? I'm doing fantastic. You? I'm doing good. Gonna uh, do a little uh, Crispin Cider marinated, or excuse me, Crispin Cider brined pork chop. Oh. So then we're gonna grill it. Mm -hmm. So we start the brining process. We have some Crispin Cider, a little fresh thyme. Um, the recipe calls for juniper berries. Mm -hmm. If you can't find those, a good substitute is rosemary. We didn't okay. have any at my Kroger store, so some fresh rosemary, a little mm -hmm. bay leaf, dried mustard, um, uh, peppercorns and some sugar. Mm -hmm. So then we'll mix all that together and we'll brown these uh, um, pork chops for approximately two to four hours. Now let me ask you, what is the difference between brining and uh, marinating? Marinating. Uh, brining has a, a it's just oh, more excuse salt me, it's content. Salt, salt yeah. and a little olive oil in the in the brine also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's more there's more salt in 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 the brines than there is in a marinade. Okay. Um, so, we're going to take this, uh, we also made a glaze out of reduced orange juice, crisp and cider, Ooh. some a little more garlic, and uh, some more uh, brown sugar. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to brush that a little bit, a little salt, a little pepper, our good buddies, salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Then they're going to go right to the grill with this. So you want a hot grill, you can put these on for about three minutes, then you'll give them a turn. Uh, after about five minutes, you'll turn them over. Um, you want to cook them through. I know we all like to cook our pork through here. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> all right, but here's my question on that. All right. With a steak, you can get the grill lines. You can leave the inside rare if you like it or just pink, whatever. Uh -huh. You can't do that with pork. So how are we able to not or to get the inside of it, the middle of it done, but not completely I, char the outside? I mean, I do the touch test. You know, we've gone through that before, you know. Yeah right here. You can also use an insert thermometer. Uh, you want to take it to about 140, 145 degrees. That's going to be a nice medium and then it's going to carry over cook is what we call okay. it. Um, so I've also prepared some fresh green beans with a little vinaigrette of olive oil, a little uh, Pinot Grigio wine vinegar, gar roasted garlic, uh, salt and pepper, and a little lemon juice. And we're going to grill these green beans in our nice little grill pan that I preheated while we were waiting for the segment to start. Do we have to worry about flare-ups with those? Yeah, shouldn't. Okay. All right. There, we're going to close the grill. And we'll just have to, now it's just wait. <laughs> so the deal is that we want to brine the pork chops for at least four hours? Right. And about a half an hour before you uh, want to grill them, you're going to take them out, uh, pat them dry, let them come up to almost room temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, I brushed them with the glaze, put a little salt and pepper on there, and on they go. It'd be good. All right, great stuff. Well, we're going to remind everybody we're going to put this recipe on our website, fox2127.com, a little bit later under the morning menu tab. And coming up in just a few minutes, uh, what, about 10 minutes 10 from minutes, now, yeah. we'll be uh, plating this up and giving it a try. Good deal. All right, perfect weather for grilling, yes, it is, is it not? Yes, like 80 degrees today. That's yeah, I imagine Kroger is just stocked, chocked full of everything yes, we could be are, uh, yeah. wanting to grill yeah. in addition to these lots pork chops. Lots and lots of uh, ribs. Uh, the Jeff over in the meat department's got a lot of specials going on. Uh, produce department, you know, get out there, get a grill pan, or just yeah. throw the vegetables straight on the grill. It'll all be good. It's all good. All right, so we're going to check that out here in just a couple minutes.